Welcome back, everybody. I am the Jimmer. This is the Propane 150k King of the Hill Championship. It's going to be episode 84, featuring the Corte de Orcimento by Ad Necrius. It'll be taken on our current fourth place king, Joey Shenanigans, by Joey101937. Let's go ahead and get this on pause, get the battle underway. Both sides unloading. Let's see if these missiles are able to get through the lambs. They're getting really close. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be a missile strike here. Oh, just at the last second it appears the lambs are taking out the missiles. That was so close. And it looks like most of the shells getting take getting deflected by the shields. Or Cemento, 98%. Joey Shenanigans, 97%. Oh, that was a big shot there, though. But it looks like just an explosion on the outside. Kanagi class, 95%. Or Cemento, 97%. Here's another missile strike. And it looks like the lambs is not detecting those missiles and they are just going straight into the hull that said they didn't look like they did a whole lot of damage look like possibly EMP missiles and the uh, Dorsamento had pretty good uh, surge protector spam on it so it doesn't look like the, those EMP missiles did much at all let's go take a peek at the uh, damage See the uh, the shells kind of just spraying out there like a water hose, and the Kanagi isn't all that damaged. It's about 95%. Just kind of rolling over in the water like it does. It's like it has a, a high center of mass, prone to rolling. Ooh, I see a bunch of blocks falling off of the Orcimento, though. Oh, it looks like it took a shot to the gun rack. You can see the uh, shells raining down after being ejected. Orcimento, 94%. Kanagi, 94%. Oh, that missile got through. Yeah, you can see those uh, missiles getting through and uh, causing the, the ejectors to trigger. Looks like the Kanagi has been able to uh, get itself upright in the water. Still down at about 94%, but it is uh, winning this fight. It's got the Orsimeno all the way down to 89. Just continuing to unload.
<coughs> Six minutes left to go in this battle. I have a feeling it is not going to make it the uh, full time. Orb Smento falling out of the sky. Oh, that missile dropped right down into the ejector tubes. At this point it looks like this is almost certain victory for the Kanagi. Oh, except it's sinking. Luckily above 80%, but yeah, it is underwater. I, have to, I believe they had torpedoes, I'm not sure. And yeah, no, it looks like the uh, torpedo tubes got uh, blown off. But I don't think it really needs them. The uh, the missile barrage and the, uh, the cannon shells coming in here are, yeah, there we go. 80% and sinking on the Orsamento. So congratulations to Joey101937 getting another uh, position defense here. Hanging on to that fourth place position. And uh, we're going to have one more battle. We'll have the uh, Orsamento, Corte de Orsamento by Adnacrius going to be taken on the Revenge of the Laser Box. Alright, here we go. Just unpause, get the battle underway. Alright, both these entries employing a very similar strategy. Laser Box uh, entirely focused on laser damage, where the Orsamento also has the, the cannons as well as the lasers. It's like the laser box getting the best of it early. Yeah, it's got the Orsamento all the way down to 94%. Doesn't look like the... There we go, we see some shells coming in here. Oh, that's right, the uh, the laser box has those cheating shields. But honestly, it doesn't even look like they're having an effect. Alright, so that looks like a victory for the uh, laser box, but I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Orsamento uh, due to the, uh, the cheating shields here. I don't think the Orsamento would have won otherwise, but uh, it definitely there were some shells that came in there that uh, probably would have made it through if it just had been the, uh, the regular single layer of uh, shields. So congratulations to... Ed is going to be taking the 5th uh, place position over from the laser box here. And also congratulations to the guy of Phage. I know uh, it wasn't uh, an attempt to cheat or anything like that. And uh, it did really well. And honestly, I think uh, if it just had the, the regular shields there and uh, not the overlapping layers, then it probably still would have won anyway. But uh, just trying to be a as fair as possible, I'm going to give this one to the uh, Orsamento. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next episode.